Uh, this is Bill from DN Access, and I'm talking today about how thieves steal domain names. There are several ways that theft can happen, and several ways a thief can steal a domain name. Some of these techniques are quite obvious, while others are not, and more difficult to identify. Sometimes even for us who are pros at recovering stolen domain names, a domain name's who is record contains information that allows the thief to steal the domain. For example, the who is record has an email address, maybe domain name of the email address on the who is record for another name has expired. So the email actually doesn't work. The thief then buys the expired domain name, reestablishes the email address that was listed on the who is record, and then is able to actually gain access to the account at the domain name registrar for the other domain name. In some cases, they may actually have logged into the account, um, changed the contact information on the who is record to their own, and then the st stealing goes on um, at that point. Sometimes this can actually happen with several domain names at the same time especially if they find that there are several different domain names associated with that particular email address. The other way thieves steal domain names are that they get access to the account of the domain registrar where it re it's registrar. And there's a few ways they do that. It can involve domain hacking, um, email, email hacking, or just getting access to an email account, such as a Gmail which is actually hacking into the domain name register account um, once they have access to the email. Some domain registrars actually, um, even if the domain name gets stolen and somebody gets access to the domain name registrar account, it turns out that if they gained access by hacking the email account and not the domain registrar account, the domain registrar won't be doing anything. They won't help you. But it could also mean that some somebody from the same company, for example, um, who owns the domain name gets access, maybe a former employee or just somebody who is um, a friend of an employee or just gains access um, that way to the domain registrar account and then changes that are made, to, they change it to their own contact information for the domain name. So another way is the domain name thief just may have already had access to it. Um, I've seen family members. I've also seen, in some cases, I have seen former employees or employees um, who have just gone rogue um, and uh, they've, they've transferred the domain name to themselves. But uh, in the case of family members um, gain access to a domain name and then transfer the domain name to themselves and so forth, and, and then steal it that way. There are more and more ways that domain theft can be accomplished. You know, for security reasons, I'm not gonna go into totally elaborate on this. However, I do, you know, I do in, I think that in all cases, if a domain name is truly stolen from its rightful owner, um, it's always gonna be recoverable. It just sometimes it's difficult and sometimes it takes some money um, and the other times, um, it just takes time. Once the domain name is stolen, um, and it's identified as stolen, technically, you know, you'll actually need to contact both domain registrars if the domain has been transferred from one domain registrar to another. Or if you have a company uh, like DN Access, DN Access can facilitate the recovery of the domain name between the two registrars. Or they can actually uh, we can can facilitate um, through our contacts to certain registrars um, that if the domain name has just been moved from one account to another at that registrar, then we can deal with that. Typically, though, if when a domain name is stolen, it's truly stolen, it is transferred from one domain name registrar to another, and that involves a TURF agreement, a TURF agreement, and that agreement must be put in place. And you as the owner of, or the, or the rightful owner of the domain name 
you need to, you probably in most cases you need to get it signed and notarized and that statement um essentially that says that you are the rightful owner and it was transferred without permission this essentially is actually an agreement between the two domain name registrars that the transfer of the domain name was authorized or actually in this case it was unauthorized when it's stolen and the domain name should go back to the original registrar and of course if the domain name registrar isn't going to be held liable um, if the domain name is transferred back and there's an any, any issues. It's basically some paperwork that needs to be done. If you have any indication that your domain name is stolen, um, contact your, your registrar right away, actually immediately, and ask them to lock the domain name. Um, this will actually make sure that no other changes can make be made to the domain name. The ownership cannot transfer. Usually domain, domain name registrars, if there's some kind of issue, they will lock it for 60 days. That's a standard domain name lock. That way it cannot be transferred while you and them investigate the issue of the stolen domain. This is typically done by contacting a member of the abuse team of that registrar or can the compliance team. Um, there are probably uh, at most registrars are going to be forms to fill out online to contact the abuse team, or you can actually contact the compliance team as well. You want to contact both of the registrars if you can, but the wherever the registrar domain, the whatever wherever the register the whether the wherever the domain name is currently registered, that's that's holding the domain name. You want to know, notify them of the theft so that they can lock the domain so it doesn't go back, go transfer to get transferred again. Even though there are hundreds of registrars, the industry, domain name industry specifically, is small enough where usually a timely phone call um, from some one of us at DM Access or an email um, to a certain person can actually help save the day and get this taken care of right away. The critical point here, though, is that when a domain name theft occurs or there's any questions, the quicker it is identified, the quicker it can be recovered and returned to its rightful owner. Once the domain name is stolen, um, you know, domain names can be resold, transferred, transferred again to either a new owner and auctioned off. The process becomes much more complicated when we have to unwind that whole transaction and the chain of title and the transactions that occurred, sometimes, especially when it's auctioned off, there's a new owner. And so that owner feels like they bought, legitimately bought the domain name. However, if it was stolen and then sold and sold again, those owners feel it must, you know, in a lot of cases, they feel like they need to be compensated. However, keep in mind that the, you know, still in a domain name worth $10,000, okay, that is a stolen domain name, is transferred to somebody and they purchased it. Well, that's not too different than somebody buying uh, or stealing a vehicle or car, for example, or a pickup truck that's worth $10,000 and selling it. And that a new owner is going to think, well, they bought it legitimately. Well, unfortunately it's stolen. So it must be given back. So when you buy, acquire a, and you buy it right, or buy a domain name, you need to do a background check and make sure that the domain name is not stolen or there's not any issues with it because you could lose it. So why do thieves steal domains? Why do domain names even get stolen in the first place? Well, domain names are attached to websites, but domain names actually have value. And some have sold for thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. Thieves know this. They steal domain names because they're able to resell it to an unsuspecting person or even at an organization or a company that, you know, so he's like, hey, we're getting a great deal on this domain name, and there's a big discount. 
they're trying to steal the domain name and get it sold and transferred to somebody else so that they can then benefit from the sale of the domain and then their name is not associated with it or um, anymore. But in most cases that we see, after recovering hundreds of domain names for our clients, the domain name is stolen because a thief wants to sell it quickly. They want to sell it back to the owner, actually, um, in some cases. A domain name can also be stolen, not really because of monetary gain, but sometimes out of spite out of reasons for outright sabotage. For example, there was a domain name uh, that we recovered um, that where the former CEO, when the CEO was left the company, um, he took the domain name with him and would not give it back. But we were able to recover that name. Beyond the, but... You know, keep in mind that the unauthorized, the unauthorized transfer of a name to a new registrant could actually tie up a domain for even weeks or months if the new registrant forces a legal process in order to recover the stolen domain. Here's a little bit about domain recovery. What should you do if you think your domain name is stolen? First, we recommend reading and looking at the various scenarios that we have on our website, dnaccess.com, in the stolen domain theft sections. But also considering the different scenarios that I've mentioned here. To be honest with you, about 10% of them are actually truly stolen domain names. There's some kind of other issue going on in a lot of cases. If your domain name is actually stolen, someone has gained access to your registrar account and transferred it out, check to see if you still have access to that domain name at the registrar. But in some cases, or a lot of cases, you're, you probably won't have access. In some cases, though, you may actually have some questions of really what's going on. You may have purchased the domain name from a reseller and not actually a domain name registrar. For example, if you were to have a Shopify site and an e-commerce site or an Etsy store, or some of these companies that allow you to sell on the web, they're not domain registrars, actually. They are resellers. And so your domain name may be at a registrar such as Two Cows, T-U-C-O-W-S. And in that case, if you don't have any access to Shopify site or something like that, you're, you're, where you log in and where you purchase the domain, the domain name may be actually at the registrar where it's registered. So you need to look at the who is record, which is lookup.icann.org. I see lookup, L-O-O-K-U-P. Dot I -C -A -N -N dot org that you can see the domain name where it's registered now. You can see if it's still registered, who owns it. And in some most cases, it's going to be under domain name privacy. See if you register, not recognize the domain registrar. And if you know where that is, you can look up, for example, the two cows and go directly to that domain name registrar, and you may be, be, may be able to get access. Currently, if the domain has been transferred to another registrar without your permission, though, you should contact the, your registrar and talk to them about what happened, note all the details of the call, um, who you talk to, when you talk to them, and so forth. If it is stolen, file a report of the theft with your local authorities. If you think that the domain name has a significant value, in a lot of cases, if it's, if it's your company name, you actually will want to go ahead and, and uh, file a police report. Um, that in itself, maybe if you can get a digital copy of it or, or um, scan it. At DN Access, we can then approach the thief, and a lot of cases, 
we can we can actually recover the domain name just by showing them at the fact that it has there's uh, been a report of the theft. Um, your local police or sheriff um, usually can take that report. <clears throat> Keep in mind that some documentation, like a police report, may be, le may be needed later on if you need to likely file something legally um, later on, you know, and, and so forth. You may have, to, you know, it's helpful to have documentation like that and evidence um, that will help recover the domain name if attorneys are needed or involved. Um, if there's a lawsuit, if it appears that the domain name act has been stolen, um, contact us at DN Access and we'll start investigating and help recover the domain. But we cannot stress this enough. Time is of the essence here. When a domain is stolen, it's got to be reported and act upon, acted upon, hopefully within hours and not days. There is a limited time to stop a domain name transfer when a domain name is started. Um, if the if the domain uh, is no longer in your account and there's a transfer going on, there's a certain number of days, usually five days, where there's a certain amount of time where you can dispute the domain transfer. However, if it's going through and you know it can't be done, it's more going to be more difficult than we got it talk to both registrars and figure out the situation. The sooner you can report it, the e sooner you contact us, the sooner it is for us. Yeah, the easier it is for us to recover the domain and the faster it is for you to get your website back up and running. Um, domain name thieves can be relentless in their attempts to hide involvement. There are several different things that they may do. Um, and a domain can be stolen, transferred to another registrar, sold to another buyer, sold again, transferred again in a matter of days. Again, if your domain is important to you, and it should be, and I know it is, if you lose it, DN Access can help you recover the domain name. But keep in mind, there's a lot of different scenarios, and we need to fully understand what actually happened to your domain name and what you think happened to the domain name. Document everything when you contact your domain name registrar. Uh, document everything when you talk to us as well. And if they cannot help, if your registrar cannot help or won't help you, in a lot of cases, they know what's going on. They know what happened. They know who did what but they refuse a domain name registrar. There are certain scenarios where they will not help you at all. So feel free to get in touch with us. We can take the next steps. DN Access is here to help you get your domain name back so you can get your website back up and running very quickly.